Let's take a look at malware just for a change, shall we? There's a lot of tools that are free to use. If you look at them, they're listed here. You have A squared free. There's CCleaner, which I will cover in just a moment. There's Dr. Web Antivirus. There's Freefixer for Windows. There's Malware Bytes Anti Malware, one of my favourites. There's Norman Malware Cleaner. You also have a Rootkit Remover. Super Anti Spyware. You can use Rescue Disks by burning ISO images. And there's also Host Expert and Host Man. Now I'll close the browser and just let that clean up behind it. Now if you're using XP, double click My Computer, open, double click your C drive, double click the Windows folder, double click the System32 folder, then double click the Drivers folder, double click the etc, find the host file, there may be several of them. Leave services, networks, LM hosts and networks alone. Delete the hosts. Select yes. Close the window. Now if you right click my computer and select properties, click on system restore. Turn off system restore on all drives. This is important. Because if you've had malware for a day or so, it's in your restore points. So turn it off. If you're using Vista or Windows 7, open My Computer, double click the C drive, again double click Windows, scroll down and find System32, double click to open, double click the drivers folder, and double click etc. Hold down the control key and Highlight the host file, not the LM host, network, protocol or services, leave them alone. Right click these and delete. Nice and simple. It sends them to the recycle bin. Now in task manager, end any processes that shouldn't be running. Right click my computer, click properties. Click on advanced system settings and click on system protection. Click on the drive, which is normally C. Click Configure and then Delete All Restore Points. It's that simple. Click Apply and click OK. You will then be able to close down the open windows. And let's have a look at CCleaner because a lot of stuff hides in temporary files. Now, if you save your passwords, you need to untick this box, autocomplete form history, or you will lose your passwords. It's not a good idea to save them anyway. Use a password manager. But tick all the boxes until you come down to advanced. Tick only those three. Applications, you can tick all of them. It's quite safe to do so. Click on options, click advanced. Untick only delete files in Windows temp folders older than 24 hours. This is very important. It must be unticked. If you look at settings, you have the option for a simple overwrite of one pass, DOD three passes, NSA seven passes, or Gutman 35 passes. The choice is yours. Now, what I would do is run analyze. And if you click on these, it will show you what is going to be removed before you actually clean your machine and remove it. And you can look at the download history, saved form information, cookies, recent documents, and so it goes on. Everything is listed there for you. And as you can see, there's not a great deal on this machine. So I will just run the cleaner and it will clear the rubbish out. Now if we go back to the XP machine, the same applies. Go to Advanced and only delete files in Windows 10 folders older than 24 hours must be unticked. So I will run the cleaner and all the temporary files will be deleted, including the most recent ones. 
this will stop a lot of the malware from coming back. Now as you can see here, there's 8 megabytes removed on this machine and there's 2.56 megabytes removed on another machine. And it's emptied the recycle bin, 357 kilobytes, and you can go through the list and see what's been deleted. You know, you have the internet cache, and so it goes on. Now, what I will do then is open up Malware Bytes Anti Malware, and what you should do is click on Update, check for updates, and allow the program to update itself. Now once it's updated, click OK, click on Scanner, it's preset to perform a quick scan, and click Scan. It's nice and simple. All you have to do then, when the program finishes, is remove all infections found and reboot. You can create a new restore point. If you use Spybot Search and Destroy or Spyware Blaster, you need to update them and need to reapply the passive protection. And I've covered both of these before. And I will just click immunize on this. I will also open up host expert and rebuild my host file. And what I will do here, uh, because I have this on a USB stick, it's a lot easier to run. Run it as an administrator. The host file doesn't exist. Click OK to create a host file. That's the basic host. I use the HP host, replace and sort, click OK and just allow it to download and install the new host file. So I will come out of this for the time being and as you can see SpyBot is immunized and that's it all done. And hopefully you should get your machine back. Now if you look at your browsers that are being hijacked, if you use Firefox. Open it up and open a new tab. Now you want to type in about colon config and then press enter. Click on I'll be careful I promise. In filter type keyword dot url. Now right click whatever there is there and click on reset and it will reset it to what it should be. You may need to reset your home page but it will get rid of the redirections. If you're using Internet Explorer click on tools manage add-ons. Now go through the toolbars and extensions. If there's anything there that shouldn't be there disable it. Click on it and disable. Search providers. There may be Bing, Yahoo, Google or whatever else you may have. If there are any that don't belong, click it and click remove. Also tick the box. Prevent programs from suggesting changes to my default search provider. This will help you in the future. Another thing you can do is check accelerators and make sure nothing's been added in there. If it has, click on it and remove it or disable it. The one thing you need to do is to back up your computer. Now, Malwarebytes is still running and I'll allow it to remove any infections it does find. But learn to back up your computer, learn what's running in your task manager. If you want more information and you want the download links, check out my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.com.